Hi, this is Jessica from NextGen Personal Finance, and today I'm going to show you how to look up stock prices on Yahoo Finance. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to finance.yahoo.com, and over here in the left-hand corner, you'll see where it says, quote, lookup. You have two options there. You can type in a company's name. So for example, I'll type in Chipotle, and from what comes up here, you can go ahead and click on the stock that you're looking for. The other option would be to instead enter the ticker symbol for the stock you're looking for. So for example, MSFT for Microsoft, and we can click on it that way. Now what you'll get is today's stock information for that company. And what we're going to look for is the historical prices. So you can click historical prices over here on the left. And again, today you'll see its current trading information here, and then you can set the date range for when you're looking for. So I want to look for my birthday 10 years ago, and I'm gonna have it end on today's price. I want to switch it in this case to monthly. I want them to show me the stock prices every month, and I'm gonna push get prices. You'll see that when you select monthly, it gives you the stock prices for your company on the first trading day of each month. So you'll see January 2nd, February 2nd, it issued dividends in the middle of February, then March 2nd, and so on and so forth. You could also choose weekly by clicking up here where it says weekly and pushing get prices. And that will give you the stock prices on the first trading day of each week. And then of course you also have the daily option where when you push get prices, it will give you the stock prices for every single day in your age range. As you scroll down the page, you'll see that at the bottom, it will let you click to the next page. And of course, if you choose daily, you're gonna have a lot of pages if you're trying to go pretty far back in history. If that's the case, you probably want to change the range here to something closer to what you're looking for, or you may want to go with the monthly or weekly option. For most of our next-gen personal finance activities and projects, we recommend that you use the adjusted close price for the date that you're looking for, but your teacher may tell you to do something different. Hopefully this has helped you learn how to find historical stock prices on Yahoo Finance. Thanks.